I have been planning to make a video uh, having to do with uh, what I think I want to do about Rudin. Um, sometimes when uh, you ask the question, well, how come a book like Baby Rudin requires so much energy and uh, other books and uh, other learning than the book itself? And, you know, that begs the question, if a book requires so much to understand what's in it, is the book itself valuable or is it just the things that you do outside of the book and then is the book valuable at all? I don't know. I go back and forth depending on the day. Now, I know if you guys have been following me that I have been reading uh, Wade's Real Analysis and I'm up to uh, R to the end differentiation. And I've seen uh, sort of, uh, I've seen where, the, I'm beginning to see where that story ends and I'm beginning to see all the different subfields of mathematics that are required for understanding mathematical analysis. Now, the, the epic that Rudin set up for the, for the mathematics community is a very interesting one uh, because it's become a rite of passage, sort of like a, a, a bragging rights thing uh, of somebody saying, yeah, I've gone through Rudin, uh, then I went through Papa Rudin, which is the, uh, the, uh, the one that's usually used, the book that's usually used for uh, first year graduate students. There's a third book that I don't have on functional analysis. Uh, in my case, I just wanted to focus on the, my current step. Definitely, I've been reading through this book, and you guys have seen that I keep talking about it because I keep reading in it, and I keep finding things that are useful, uh, even though I'm, I find Wade more useful. Uh, but I also every now and then look in, into this book because I know that that's kind of like my next step further down the line. Uh, and I am looking to see what do I read after Wade, given that I'm more than halfway through. Uh, and, I'll, and I'll need a, another book in analysis, most likely real analysis, but it can have, other, it can have complex uh, in 2024, early in 2024. That's what I'm thinking right now. That's my planning. So I'm sort of looking ahead. And this is kind of like the, the before video, before I actually do anything. Uh, so anyways, those are the books. I'm not going to go through this book. Uh, it's well above my level right now. And what I'm really focusing on is what is my next step after Wade? That is really the, the, the real subject. But because Rudin is such an important book, uh, I want to uh, flesh out what I want to do with it. Uh, maybe expound a little more on why why it looks like Rudin still matters. Uh, so I've got uh, several books on the side. Uh, so this is Tao's Volume 1. Uh, it's a book that I have not ended up using. Every, now, every time that I try to use, I find that it has less content than other books that I have, although it is really well written. And I know for a fact that with time, I will go back and probably read both, both volumes. But I'm, at this point, I'm not there yet. But this paragraph in, um, in Tao is really more or less, in my opinion, the reason why I think Rudin still matters. Okay, so, uh, so uh, Tao goes into the various areas that are part of uh, analysis, mathematical analysis, which is indeed the title of Rudin's book. And you're talking about real analysis, then complex analysis, then Fourier transform, which is really harmonic analysis, and then functional analysis, which is, uh, you know, Grandpa Rudin. Uh, so there are many parts of analysis. There's also the topological aspect, the vector aspect, and the the thing the thing that makes uh, that makes Rudin really difficult, yet I think still relevant, is that it it really mixes up all of those subfields into one. And at any one point in the book, you're being asked to understand the basics of all of those subfields. So again, as I've been saying before, in case you haven't seen any of my videos before, I have been going through Wade, uh, and I've gotten through our, our one-dimensional uh, real analysis, and now I'm into the vector part and going through the differentiation uh, uh, chapter. There's also metric spaces, which really is sort of like a tie-in to graduate level, which is really measure and integration, Banach spaces, I hope I'm correct, uh, pronouncing it correctly, Hilbert space. Uh, so, yeah, that's that's Wade. You guys have seen it a lot in this uh, in this course. I mean, I'm sorry, in this video series. What course? I'm not. What am I talking about? So then, uh, I would start with okay. So what are 
the other uh, what I would call mathematical analysis books or books that deal with the R to the N uh, view of analysis, the vector view of analysis. And I have been using these two books. Uh, this book is particularly weird for me to use because it's kind of like Rudin, but with more words. I do look at it, but often I find that um, I don't end up using it. I don't end up going into this book and saying, oh, that part, let me read that part. I usually either get it out of ChatGPT or some other book to write out details of what a specific theorem means. Uh, but this particular book, Anton, he also has, uh, I'm sorry, Apostle, not Anton. Anton is, is, is linear algebra. And if I said An Anton, I stand corrected. I really meant Apostle. Uh, Apostle also wrote uh, calculus books that I don't have that are supposed to be very good. Like they're in the current uh, sort of type of calculus book, very expansive. Uh, expansive meaning that it has a lot of content. Uh, and so I, I look through this book when I find the subject, like Cauchy Principal Value is one that I, I remember, or even uh, L'Hopital's, the, the L'Hopital's uh, Rules. But I wind up not using it. And so, I don't know, maybe in the future, uh, as I learn more of analysis, I can go back and actually find the use in this book, the same as Tao's book. Uh, in the case of Prater or Murray, or Maury, uh, I do find this book more useful, and I have looked through it more. But still, it's not a book that I have used. But then, so, so really, I've gone through Baby Rudin, Papa Rudin, how it links to Tao, how it links to Wade, which is a book that I'm doing, how it links to other books that have R to the N. But then, uh, when you start going through the subjects, this is where I think we enter the meat of the argument of this video, which is things like complex variables. Uh, and for that, I think Churchill is one of the classic, book, classic books. And not complex analysis. It's really because uh, once you get into complex analysis, you're really doing all these other theorems in more detail that are not, that are more uh, for you to prepare yourself for Papa Rudin. It's not really for Baby Rudin. The, a lot of the complex uh, variables in Baby Rudin, it's just complex variables. Uh, it, and really, it's just the beginning chapters of this book. And at some point, I will, I plan to, uh, just read through the beginning chapters of this book before I read uh, Rudin. I believe it's going to be in early 2024. But I know there's going to be some preparation just because Baby Rudin's got a lot in it. It just does. All right, so then after that, one of the things that Baby Rudin uh, assumes is a knowledge of uh, point set topology. I've been using Moncrus. Uh, I find it useful. I find it readable. Uh, I have other topology books, but this one I think is the one that I've used the most uh, to understand basic concepts. Uh, limit points, there they are, limit points. Uh, so, so, and at some point, I want to go back through Baby Rudin and see all the topology that's in it, all the points of topology, in one bang. I think I'm going to do it that way, in one in one specific range. I'm still not sure how I'm going to attack Baby Rudin, or if I'm going to, but I know that if I do, I'm going to need all of these books. I think so. I definitely think so. It sure feels that way, just because the book is so packed with concepts. Uh, it's all, it's, and I, that's why I call it a poem. So yeah, Munkris uh, for points of topology. Then I found this great book, uh, which is uh, Marsden and Tramba. And I bought it as used, but this one's spanking brand new. And this is a vector calculus book. That's all it is. Uh, and I like the fact that it's got more content than uh, Thomas and Finney has four ve the vector calculus chapters. I think the vector calculus chapters in Thomas and Finney, the calculus book, are quick for engineers. This is also a book for engineers, uh, but but it's got a lot more. This, this book has a ton of content. Uh, for example, right now I'm going through, uh, I'll be going through the first few chapters, and I'll be talking about this in my weight updates, uh, but I'm going through some of these chapters. Uh, actually, that's why I have a little a little marker here. Uh, so yeah, vector calculus. Now this book at the end has a little bit, because it goes all the way to Stokes' theorem, has a little bit on differential geometry. So it's got some 
some differential geometry, differential forms right there. So it does. And then, uh, and I, I believe it's not the final chapter, but it's the next to the final uh, chapter in Baby Rudin. It's all about differential geometry. So I got this book, uh, and I have been reading parts of it too. Uh, of course, there's also the best integration, and this is why this is a, 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 a a before video I think once I do more of Wade I'll probably uh, have to uh, go into like okay how do I attack Lebesgue integration and, and the Lebesgue measure and I do have a book for that but I'm not gonna show it now because I think it's too early I'm just going through what I think will get me what will definitely get me through all of Baby Rudin and will get me through all of Wade for the different subjects that are discussed so there you have it those are kind of like the, the basic books that I'm laying out that I'm currently using. I'm actually, uh, at one point or another, during my reading of Wade, I will look into any one of these books, except for Tao. I think Tao is more like a read uh, as, I, as I go through Baby Rudin next year.